Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, the world out there. Today we are going to take a look into Libra's week ahead for April 26th through May 2nd. In this reading, we are going to tap into the energies with the Shapeshifter Oracles, similar to the Animal Oracle decks that you see. Then we are going to dive in with a traditional tarot deck to the energies surrounding you this week. What to look out for. What is challenging you this week. What is working in your favor. The outcome and advice moving forward. Okay. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For more information on how to book a personal reading, the energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing we do here every month. All that other helpful, useful information is all linked below in the description box. And Libra, if you would like future messages, you like how I vibe or interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome here and it does help set the intentions for future messages. So keep that in mind. Libra. Little brother and sister, sibling, younger friend responsibilities. Miss Spiderweb, reconsider your alliances. A new connection coming in. Um, you are unlike anyone else. Your contradictions and complexities are interesting. So I feel like this is talking about a new connection. Strange companions in strange places, challenges, use your imagination. I feel like there's somebody new coming in and you may meet this person from somewhere unexpected. I feel like this person is going to um, be a significant person in your life moving forward. And I don't feel like this in a relationship sense, more of like a friendship manner, um, like a little brother or a sister. But I do feel like this person may help you within your career, um, may help you get into the direction, into the position that you want to be in. With strange companions, stranger places, there could be some challenges that you face along the way, but it that's with anything in life, right? There's going to be challenges with everything. It's not life if it's not challenging. So let's see here, Libra, what we can see for you. April 26th through May 2nd. I do apologize, guys, how the readings have been kind of late uploading. Um, sometimes when I try to upload the videos, it takes longer for some reason. Sometimes they'll upload really quickly, and sometimes it takes them a while. So thank you guys for your patience. I do appreciate it. Let's see, Libra, what we can see. The first cards out are going to be the energy The death card in reverse, the knight of pentacles. So there's some type of change that you're not wanting to make or that you may be missing. Okay. This may have to do with some type of toxic behavior pattern, maybe overindulging or um, maybe it's even emotional something that you may need um, guidance through, okay? I do feel like you are um, headed to this transformation slowly but surely here. With the Knight of Pentacles, this, this card is like the slowest energy in the deck as you would hear other tarot readers talk about. If you look in this card, yes, it's on actually um, a squirrel-looking type of 
creature, but it's just kind of standing there on guard. It's not really moving or doing anything but watching. So let's pull a card out here for the challenges for Libra Spirit. What are the challenges here? Five of Swords. This card talks about challenges, competition, unnecessary drama. There may be some, um, this may be like competition at work or competition within your life, maybe a little fun competition between friends, but it can quickly turn serious um, here with the five of swords and the upright. It's working in your favor here, Libra. Um, I feel like you're kind of coming out of this sense of feeling lost, sense of feeling hopeless, sense of having your guard up and um, looking at the past negatively. The outcome here is going to be balance. Okay. You are headed towards something that's more stable, something that's more balanced. This could be a friendship. This could be a relationship. This even could be a career for some of you. We do have the pentacles coming out here. Um, again, I do feel like there is a new friendship that's going to be coming in, a new alliance that's going to be coming in that's going to help bring awareness to some things that you maybe need to work through. Okay, again, I feel like it may be challenging to hear this, but I feel like once you make the decision to make these changes, it's going to be easier said than done. The last card out is the Four of Pentacles, okay? It's okay to withhold your energy, especially if you're not feeling up to up to it, up to par. Um, but, you know, don't sit in that energy too long as well, okay? Because withholding your energy is also, in a sense, blocking your blessings, get some clarification here Libra this clarification deck the first card we will clarify is the death in reverse for Libra please and thank you mm. there's something that's breaking your heart that you're not wanting to change or you're not wanting to see that this needs changed um But I feel like there's going to be some clarity brought in here soon. I, that's the only reason why this could be coming up. Three of Wands. Okay. This is reviewing. This is planning. This is productively waiting for your ships to come in. been a challenge I feel like for you to move into this calmer phase maybe you just gotten used to everything always being high stress high anxiety um, and it was an adjustment to even want to move forward into something that was more stable okay make sure if you are having friendships that may you know see some attributes or some certain characteristics that they might disagree with, communication is going to be key, okay? Because we don't have to always be in conflict with people, but we have to kind of let people know where we stand and um, where we're headed. I feel like, Libra, you, in the sense, letting go of all this past stuff, are focusing more on yourself and 
that's kind of bringing in this balance. That's bringing luck, the wheel to finally turn in your favor here. The main thing I feel like is just there needs to be this past situation needs processed um, because you're going to keep drawing that into your life the more that you focus on what went wrong in that relationship. So you have to work on letting that go before you can bring in something that's more stable, more solid. Let's get a few cards out here for your advice, Libra, moving forward for April 26th through May 2nd. What is the advice for Libra moving forward? It's a lot of cards, so we will reshuffle, but we have the Magician. We have the Eight of Cups, the Hanged Man, Page of Cups. Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands. It's definitely a decision that needs to be made, but I feel like there's some confusion. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I wait? Do I move forward? And I feel like at times you may look at this from the other person's perspective. And at times you may focus on what's best for you, Libra. I feel like you're still, you're kind of up in the air with this two of pentacles here. You're kind of indecisive about accepting this for what it is. Maybe this person only sees you as a friend and this relationship hasn't been cultivated yet. Maybe... This relationship was something in the past and something had happened between you two that had caused some grief. Okay, well, we are going, the two of pentacles came back out again. Okay, so there's a need here to take a step back and decide. Okay, the hermit and the two of pentacles. This tells me that the hermit is about introspection. It's about taking a step back from all people, places, and things and getting clear on what it is that you truly want. What's truly going to make Libra happy? It's the second, it's like the second stages in the tarot to the self-discovery process. The strength card being the first acceptance, then introspection, going within. Something's going to come forward that's going to help you some truth, some clarity, some honesty, something that's going to come and um, help you make this decision with the wheel on the bottom. I do feel like there's this kind of, mm, there's this kind of indecisive energy. This could be you, this could be the other person, Libra, but I feel like this is more you. I feel like what this is symbolizing, Libra, is you kind of have to clear this energy in order for any new friends, any new alliances, any new opportunities to come into your life. You have to make peace with the past. And I get the sense that that's been um, difficult for you. I feel like you've kind of gone back and forth on that. Let's get a soul journey card out here for you, Libra, before we get to the power thought card. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended, we'll take a look at what the next steps are moving forward. A little bit deeper into the potential outcome here. We'll also pull out the guidance deck for the um, Archangel guidance cards for the blessing and then the Soul Truth deck for the weekly lesson. If that's something you guys are interested in, you are more than welcome to join. That link is below. Libra, the Soul Truth, Soul Journey, sorry, Soul Journey card that's coming out for you guys is balance, 
I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and do so without judgment, balance. And then courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, courage. So I feel like you're kind of in a sense facing adversity. You're having to go within and kind of review and release any ill feelings from the past. It's going to take courage. It's going, and it's going to have to have balance, balance for, for this wheel to turn. And then of course, slow and steady wins the race. Get this power thought card for you, Libra. It's like <clears throat> when we have a guard up, when we have our guard up, we're kind of blocking people out that we don't want to hurt us anymore. But in that sense, we're also blocking out things that are going to help us or bring us love, bring us joy. So we kind of have to find that balance, you know, that perfect balance. That's where it's important to set specific boundaries and know within yourself what those boundaries are. That way, when the boundary is overstepped, you already know it's just time to move forward. Um, the so power thought card is coming out for you, Libra, is I release all fears and doubts. Maybe you're doubting this change. A lot of um, needing courage, balance is coming up in here. So maybe you're doubting that this is for your highest good. Trust, Libra, trust. This is for your highest good. I now choose to free myself from a destruction all destructive fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I am loved and I am safe. I release all fears and doubts. Beautiful Libra, beautiful. So that is the message I have coming out for you for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.